Garlic is part of the allium family. It's related to onions, shallots and leeks. It's an indispensable ingredient in most of our dishes, so it's really handy to have around the kitchen. With many health benefits, it's no wonder why we all want to grow garlic. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to grow garlic at home. I'm going to give you my six best tips and I'm going to talk you through all the do's and don'ts of growing garlic at home. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is UK Year We Grow. On this channel, we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this. So how do you grow your garlic at home? Let me know in the comments box below. Now, typically, a lot of people will grow their garlic from cloves. We simply split a bulb open and we plant those individual cloves into the ground and we allow those to grow throughout the year. Another way to grow garlic is from bulbils. Now, these are bulbils and they grow on the outside of garlic. And you can see that here in an episode where I harvested some elephant garlic earlier on in the year. A link to that video will also be in the cards above. There are many methods for planting garlic. You can grow garlic indoors by selecting a large pot, putting a layer of gravel in the bottom and then filling it with multi-purpose compost. You can then plant the cloves about twice their depth in this pot and then water. This pot can be kept outside all winter long, providing you lift it off the floor and put it in a sunny open location. Some folks like to grow garlic indoors, so you can keep it in the greenhouse, but just bear in mind that garlic requires between 30 and 60 days of temperatures between 0 and 10 degrees C or 32 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you can get this period if you plant now, which is October, November time, or in very early spring, and this should give you enough time to get that cold temperature that's needed for the bulb to split into cloves. When planting outside, choose a sunny, open location that has well-drained soil. Garlic doesn't do well with acidic soils. Anything below 6.5 can make the garlic prone to disease. You can alleviate this by adding lime to the ground a few weeks before planting. Adding some Grow More fertilizer as a balanced fertilizer at around 25 to 30 grams per square meter will also help. At the time of planting, dig in a few buckets of manure or compost to raise the organic matter in the bed. This will aid in water retention. If you do not add this to the bed, then double the previous mentioned feed. You can plant garlic outside in late October and November. It can also be done in very early spring. This will give the plants enough time that it needs in cold temperatures. Outside garlic is planted with individual cloves. Simply break these from the bulb and only plant the best sized cloves. Any cloves that are soft or skinny do not plant and set these aside to be used in the kitchen. Plant cloves ensuring you plant the correct way up. The basal plate must be down and the tip facing up. Plant cloves around six inches apart with at least one foot between rows. Plant the cloves so that the tips are around one inch below the soil surface. However, if you have sandy soil, you can plant garlic much deeper for a better yield. But do not do this with heavy, wet clay soils as we have here. There are two types of garlic. That's soft neck and hard neck garlic. Hard neck garlic has a much superior flavour than soft neck garlic. But soft neck garlic stores much better. Now, if you don't know how to braid and plait your soft neck garlic, I have a video and I'll put a link in the description above. There is a third variety of garlic, and that is elephant garlic. And as you can see here, the cloves are absolutely massive. Elephant garlic is much more like a garlic flavored leek though. It's very, very mild. But again, the size of these is massive. So it goes in a lot of really good dishes but it is much milder in flavor. When planting the bulbils, as discussed earlier on, you plant these exactly the same as garlic, only you don't harvest them in the first year. This is a two year process. 
planting these bulbils will produce what's known as a garlic flat in the first year. The second year, that garlic flat will continue to grow into a full bulb. So don't harvest these the next year, you leave them in place, it's a two year period, but it's a fantastic way to increase your stocks without using all your cloves. So looking after your garlic is relatively easy. However, because there's not a lot of top growth, there's a lot of weeds that grow. I wouldn't suggest hoeing around your garlic because if you happen to catch that garlic with the hoe, it will damage that bulb and allow disease to enter. Instead, weed that area by hand. Another way would be to possibly plant the garlic through a membrane or some black plastic which would help cut down the weeds. Water once a week during hot periods and once every two weeks when weather is not so hot and overcast. When you see the leaves start to yellow, then cease watering altogether because this is when the garlic is maturing and it doesn't need the water any longer. And then as the leaves continue to yellow and start to die back, you are able to harvest your garlic. Harvesting garlic is pretty much straightforward, but don't be tempted to pull on the foliage of the garlic. Instead, put a fork down alongside the garlic and gently lift them because you don't want to damage those bulbs or they won't store. Now, I have another video on harvesting garlic and I'll put that in the cards above because that really needs an entire video to itself. Well, I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode on how to grow garlic at home. Question of the day, when do you plant your garden? Is it in autumn, fall or in the spring? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm Tony O'Neill. This is UK Here We Grow, and remember folks, you reap what you sow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.